How you use notes and attachments may depend on your company's business process. And since Sugar is very flexible, there are a number of ways to perform this task. However, in this example, we're adding a note and attachment to an existing account. Let's get started by obtaining a list of accounts by clicking the Accounts module. If your Accounts module is not listed, click the More dropdown and click Accounts in the list. You can use this page to search for a specific account using the search field, but in this example we're selecting the first account displayed by clicking the company name. Scroll down the page to the History section, click the Action menu and select Create Note or Attachment. If we wanted to link this information to a contact within the account, we could add the information in the contact field, but in this example the information is specific to the account. Click in the subject field and enter something meaningful about the note you want to create. I'll enter Addition Feature Comparison. Because we selected the account first, the Related To module field is already populated with the account and the name of the account we selected. You can click it to get a list of modules available for you to link the note or attachment to. The Assign To field typically reflects the user creating the note. At this point, we can choose to create an attachment, a note, or a note with an attachment. Let's be adventurous and create a note with an attachment. Click the Choose File button and select a document, PDF, MP3, or whatever you like as an attachment, though you should consider using a small file for time's sake. I'm choosing the Sugar 6.4 Editions Comparison PDF from my Downloads folder. And I'm going to use the Note field as a description for the file and enter document with details about the feature comparisons of Sugar product line. Since I want this information to be available to the customer via the support portal, I will check the Display and Portal checkbox. And I want not just my team, but all of the teams to be able to access this information, so I'll leave the team set to Global and then click Save.